Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kahoob here. In today's video, I want to talk about what is the Bitcoin having. So I'll be explaining this in more simple terms that don't require extensive knowledge into any computer science or technology fields. So the Bitcoin having is when the Bitcoin mining rewards get cut in half. So to explain things better, I'll have to back things up a bit. So Bitcoin miners compete against each other to mine the next block to be added to the Bitcoin blockchain. And each block is filled with transactions. The way you mine Bitcoin as of today is by using an ASIC miner, which stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, which sounds kind of confusing, but basically they're just known as ASIC miners. And uh, these ASIC machines use electricity as a way to prove that they have worked for the block to be added to the blockchain, which is called proof of work. Uh, you can get a bit more technical into what exactly proof of work is, but that's uh, a very simple explanation that is uh, missing out a lot of terms. But anyways, once a miner wins this competition for their block to be added to the blockchain, uh, nodes will relay that block that has won and uh, relay onto the network to other nodes. And every node will independently verify that the block is legit and to be confirmed onto the blockchain. The miners who get their uh, blocks confirmed will receive the transaction fees in the block as well as the Coinbase reward, which is a mining subsidy of 6.25 Bitcoin currently set by the protocol in the network since the invention of Bitcoin. So miners originally received 50 Bitcoin per block and each block is mined on average every 10 minutes and every 210,000 blocks mined, there is a Bitcoin halving, which reduces the Bitcoin earned per block by half. In 2012, the reward lowered to 25 Bitcoin per block, and then in 2016, it went to 12.5 Bitcoin per block, then in 2020, it was 6.25 Bitcoin, and now, as of 2024, it will be lowered up to 3.125 Bitcoin per block mined. So, the Bitcoin halving is simply an event that happens every four years, or to be more exact, every 210,000 blocks mined, which cuts the mining rewards in half. So it does not directly affect the price, such as it does not like cut the price in half as some people will think, and it does not literally make the price of Bitcoin go up super high either. Uh, Bitcoin's value or price or any of that can go down after a halving as well. Uh, even though historically Bitcoin has seen new all-time highs 12 months to 18 months after each halving, this time around Bitcoin did break a new all-time high before the halving came again. So just keep in mind that past results do not equal future results. Anything can happen, including, you know, maybe Bitcoin going back down to 10,000. Who knows? Uh, generally speaking, though, based on supply and demand, I would personally predict Bitcoin's price to rise eventually as demand stays the same, but supply is lowered. Although I would not trade, buy or sell any Bitcoin based on this sentiment at all, as I'm not a financial advisor and, you know, this is not financial advice. And you can go to things like these having.live as a Bitcoin having countdown we can see here. Mempool.space, this shows you a lot. And you can create your own. If you run your own node, you can have this set up uh, on your own node. So you, all this information that is being relayed here from the blockchain is relayed from a node. Uh, I do have a Bitcoin for Beginner series if you want to check that out on how to run your own node. But uh, yeah, this is information is coming from the network and I personally have am running a node and I have this set up as well on my node so I can see directly from mine instead of someone else's. But uh, the, and these are about what I was showing earlier. These are currently the best Bitcoin uh, miners on the market are, are around that. And uh, you can see based on the, your electricity cost per kilowatt and uh you can look in the cost of these miners, and um, if you're looking into getting into Bitcoin mining, I would highly not recommend it at all, unless you are a big company or something like that. It's not that great at an individual level in people's houses and stuff when it comes to Bitcoin. It used to be, but not anymore. Um, but anyways, I want to keep this video short. It was mainly talking about the Bitcoin having, so I won't be really getting into like the whole concept of mining and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So. How, hopefully that has explained what uh, the Bitcoin having is, as a lot of people know that this event was coming up, but don't exactly know what it is or what it means, but they just know it's an important event in the Bitcoin network, but don't even really understand what it's doing or what it is. Uh, but yeah, it gets a lot of hype um, and a lot of people start uh, getting hyped up about it. So I just thought it would be a great video to release to educate people on what exactly it is and what it means for Bitcoin and all that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more future content like this, and I'll see you all in the next one.